Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And the other day, a gentleman asked me how to wrote uh, blend an object to a path. And I, I did one around a round object, and I did one around a line. And then I started thinking this would be pretty neat effect for drawing a vine, uh, especially around a you know like a seal. But all I did is I took and I made a petal shape. And that's very easily done. Um, I'm going to just show it real quick. I'm going to grab the Eclipse tool, make you a shape about like that, go up to a range, convert it to a curve. Let's zoom in here a little bit, get our shape tool, and we'll just click on that one and we'll just rotate a little bit. Now, double click on it and move your rotation to the edge. And let's move it outward a little bit. Now, click on your item and Control D and mirror that image. Hold down your Control button so they'll be pretty equal. Get it about like that. Select them both. Go up to the Weld tool and weld it. That's how I drew my shape this morning. So, to get it to go along this path, you need it kind of starting on your path equally. Like I got it going right through the center. And then on the other end, I've got it going right through the center or, or close. It is a plan in this case. I've got my nudge sector factor set on real high, so I'm going to just move it out of the way for a minute. I'm going to grab my two items. I'm going to go up to effects, blend. And I'm going to blend it 10 times. Then I'm going to go down here to New Path, and I'm going to tell it to blend along that path. Now, before you do anything else, select Rotate All Items or All Objects, press Apply. It's going to rotate them around your path better. They're not going to be perfect. Uh, some of them are going to be a little bit off. But they're all starting on that edge. Then what you could do is uh, break it apart. Take your line, and, and this is only because I draw everything in hairline, and make your line thicker and, and black. And you could have avoided this if you would have started with a, but it's so much easier to draw in hairline. And we can actually make that a little thicker and because uh, you can always change it and then just move it well before you move it up you could change you know these to black so you could actually encompass them all and put black and no outline well can't do that I need to move this down so you can click on that and then got no outline then move your vine or your semicircle back up and you've got a vine that kind of looks like it's growing and you could change these up tremendously anyway hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching